key because we are on the precipice of cultural extinction. Um, without giving a place for our musicians to perform, without giving a place um, for our venues to open and operate, um, this is where we are right now. Bringing live music back after COVID-19 shut down New Orleans music venues, the mayor is taking a big step to help out. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Travers Mackle. And I'm Gina Swanson. It's all part of bringing the city back to life. WDSU reporter Aubrey Killian just spoke to one live music venue owner. Aubrey, the mayor waiving the alcohol and beverage permit fee, certainly a major boost. Absolutely, and here at the Holland Wolf, they are very excited. Behind me, you can see the stage is getting ready. Some of the staff uh, just went backstage, kind of preparing for tonight's gig. And about 150 live music venues, they will now not have to pay their city ABO fees. The owner here says it is going to save them thousands of dollars a year. It is money that they desperately need. Howlin' Wolf owner Howie Kaplan says live music is one step closer to coming back to life. We're finally able to start coming back. What's happening around the state? And Mayor Cantrell says more help from the federal government is also on the way. In about two weeks, they'll have guidance from the Department of Treasury on how they can spend $375 million from the feds. But what Cantrell says the city needs most right now is vaccine numbers to go up. She's not ready to allow businesses to operate at 100% capacity like the rest of the state. Herd immunity, what we're being told, is at 75%. So that is a threshold, and that's for, again, the city of New Orleans. And so looking at that number, that percentage, and also where we are now, but looking even further or going even deeper to the inequities about who's taken the vaccine, um, We'll have to continue to monitor that. We're not where we want to be. Which is why the city held a vaccine drive in the lower nine Thursday. Locals saying it is crucial to get the shot so the city can come back to life. You go from making five or six hundred dollars a week to making nothing for a month. I mean, you're just you, you, you hope and pray you got a cool landlord that ain't going to put you out in the street. There was a period of about six weeks between January and February where I was attending um, at least two funerals every Saturday. And uh, that can wear on anyone's psyche. And the city has also partnered with Uber. So anybody needing a ride to a vaccine location, they can actually get that ride from Uber for free. If you need some help getting that ride or finding a vaccine location near you, you can dial 311. Back to you.